Hi folks, welcome back to another video. I'm not even going to intro this. This is a VEHO video, V-E-H-O. This is uh, really just a short review on what I've experienced trying VEHO. So today is the 3rd of July. It's a, it's a Wednesday and this I'm, I'm on my way actually back to the warehouse to bring back half the packages that I've been delivering because... There's an app issue. I don't know if it's ongoing. I don't know if they need an update or whatever. But uh, let me explain. So the review is Vho is very similar to Amazon Flex. If, you, if you're familiar with Amazon Flex package deliveries, it's very similar. The difference is there's more boxes than flexible packages, okay? And that can become a problem, especially if you try to get a a four or five hour block which they see let me explain a couple things when you pick your block the block will say the amount of money but it doesn't say the exact amount of money it says between say a hundred bucks and 135 this one happened to be 135 dollars so they throw you off with you know guessing on how much money you're going to make until i got to the warehouse i didn't even know how much i was going to make i had to, had to ask them and the lady said, oh, this is a $135 block, right? So the thing is, is that, okay, so you have that factor. Then it'll say between 4.5 and 6.5 hours. How many hours do you think that it really is? It's like seven hours, okay? For $135, so my suggestion is if you're going to take any VHO blocks, only take like the one to two to three hour blocks for like 60 bucks or something like that because you're going to end up driving yourself crazy. Now, depending on what type of phone you have, either an Android or an iPhone, and I don't have an iPhone, I only have an Android, but I, I none of the other apps I've ever had any problems with lag and glitching. Very rarely, very rarely did that ever happen, especially on DoorDash, okay? So uh, with Vho it's it's uh it's real laggy and they have these repetitive things where you have to take a picture then you have to confirm the picture you have to put the number of the apartment building the number of the apartment and all this you go through so many of these steps but each time and and the scanning process when you get to the warehouse they make you squint they make you scan every package it's not like it's not like Amazon where you just scan one package and it does the whole route for you, okay? They make you so it took me almost an hour. It took me almost an hour to scan uh, the packages, okay? Be, because the lag was insane. Like it was major lag with the scanning of it, of it right? Now the thing is the question is is Vho worth it? Well, that depends on if you're getting, if you have the same problems that I'm having. Like, I don't even want to do this, this, uh, this app anymore because it sucks. It's just terrible. It's like the, the process of, oh, and they also make you, not only do they make you scan at the beginning to get out of the warehouse, but when you go to these, these places, they make you rescan the package, right? Like as if we're dummies and we don't know what the address is, right? So it's, it's really frustrating and aggravating. So I got through 20 packages, right? But I realized how far they were sending me. Here's another note, folks. You, you can pick an area you want to go in. And when I say area, you think, oh, okay, I'm picking Ashland as a town or whatever town it is, you know? You pick that. You don't just stay in that town. It's the surrounding towns, and it can be far away. So... I'm already four hours into this, this shift from seven. I started at seven and it's now, uh, what is it? 11.23, I believe, almost 11.30. So I'm four and a half hours into this and I have over 30 packages to, de to deliver. This is utter bullshit. Now here's the thing. I don't, and on the thing where it says like 110, 112 to 135, that was the block that I picked, okay? It said estimated, and I'm not sure if they actually will give you, um, I'm not sure if they will give you extra money if you worked more hours than the 6.5. Can anyone let me know in the comments about that if you've ever used VHO? So this is the first time I'm doing VHO. It might be the last time because I'll, you know, Amazon sucks 
but they have a really good app and it's really quick and it's you know it's easy to drop the packages off it's a one a one click button you know for the for the um the house that you're at and then that's it you have to jump through hoops and steps with this vho thing now if the phone or the app it's not my phone it's the app it's not it's just everything is really slow like you'll press the, the camera button to take a picture it'll take three seconds for it to go into the mode to show you the picture when you scan it takes like five to six seconds or more 10 seconds to do it it's really aggravating and i'm so frustrated because i'm like if i keep going i'm gonna go i won't get done with this route until three or four o'clock in the afternoon so i also believe that viho is lying about the hours i got 51 packages but if i had 50 packages with amazon i could do 50 packages in in three and a half maybe four hours but also with Amazon, they have been, the algorithm's been noticing that people have been getting done early with their routes. So now they're, they're, they're making it so it's, you know, you basically have to drive all the way through the time that they're paying you for. But at least you pretty much get done either on time or a little earlier, like with 15 minutes or a half hour. I don't know how it is. And I'm only reporting my zone, folks. I live in Massachusetts. Right, I picked an area called Ashland, which is near Framingham. Well, Framingham was the pickup spot. That was where one of the, the um, warehouses is. And that's where I'm heading back right now to drop these packages off. Because I'm like aggravated. I'm already four and a half hours into this. And I'm good with Amazon. I'm like one, two, three, four. I mean, I'm done. But Viho, like for a first time out, maybe I should have picked a smaller block or something. But it's not even the block, folks. It's the the application itself and i and i now you can't i don't know if you can call support can anyone tell me if there's a support number because i you know i'm so aggravated i didn't i just went to where it said support i clicked on it what do you think it is it's all text it's all text support they expect you to text back and forth now this person who i was conversating with um sent me back a message you know saying oh try to uninstall the app reboot your phone don't you think i did all those things folks I uninstalled it, reinstalled it, signed back in, signed out, and all this other crap, and it still doesn't work right. So that's not my fault because they have a, you know, by the way, these these warehouses you go to or the warehouse I went to was kind of really shady. It almost looked like a an underground parking garage with a couple of guys in there. I mean, it's 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 such rinky dink. It's 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 a third party to a third party really they, they're having delivery sent to these things but it's not it's not a really well-run operation in my opinion i mean amazon is a multi-billion dollar company viho i i don't know what the, i have never looked up their stocks but i know that all these companies are offshoots of the other ones in other words the same principal stockholders own the same ones for different ones you know and uh I know this is a kind of an on-the-fly review, but I wanted to just tell you about, you know, beware of Vho. I would not take any really large, like, blocks. You know, you see, you know, you'll go, oh, $135 block, right? But that ent entails you to work really long hours. Like, this block should be $200 to $300. And it isn't because the, it isn't because the app is laggy. Hold on a second, folks. There's an ambulance going by. So th this, this, this block should be paying well over 200 bucks for the amount of hours. Now, I don't know if they're going to pay me for what I've worked, like even give me half of, of the money or whatever for half the block. Or I don't know, because Amazon, Amazon, like if you bring the packages back and something happens, they'll pay you for the entire block. That's the one good thing with them. Um, if you've already started a thing because, you know, they, they, they just pay you. With Viho, I have no idea. I think they could say, well, you didn't finish the block, so we're not paying you. You know, I have no idea. Could you write that in the uh, comments too, folks? Because some of you have used Viho. So, anyways, in my estimation, it's pretty aggravating. Um, it's a pretty aggravating app to, to navigate through. And it's just redundancy and repetitive... Um, pressing buttons and everything and it's it's like there's no need for that you know i know they want it you all oh, confirm that you're there how can you confirm something that is um how can you confirm 
something, especially if you're inside, it says, oh, deliver to the person's apartment, but no one delivers the apartment. Some of these apartment buildings are like 10 stories high, and most of them all drop in the mail room. And it does say, you know, did you deliver to, hand deliver it? Did you deliver it to the customer? Did you put it in the mail room? But then you have to remember the number of the of the building, the number of the apartment building. And when you get into these things where you're scanning, you can't see any of that. So you end up backing out and it takes like two or three minutes to load the app up. The app is so glitchy and laggy and slow. It's just really bad. So my review on Vho for the first day out trying it, I give I give Vho like a, a three or a four out of a ten. Like I, I can't even believe I'm going to say this, but like Amazon, I can give them at least an eight or nine on the way things are done, like quickly. You know, as far as you know them screwing us over and not paying us, well, they they get it. They get a you know a one or a two or a three on that. But yeah, Vho in my es- estimation, I wouldn't. Do, I wouldn't personally do Vho unless you really had to. And if you do do it, pick something for 30, 40 bucks or l- less, or a two or three hour block. Do not pick because what's happening, folks, is that they these app companies are all taking advantage of us. They know they're taking advantage of us by giving us like all of these these crazy amounts of packages. And then sending us way far out, and some of these some of these stops were five and six miles apart from where I had to go. I thought it was going to be you know one two three four you know because I'm looking at the map and the map kind of looked good and everything, but it, but it's not, folks. So I'm almost actually to to the warehouse here. Um, I just wanted to thank um, thank you for coming by, stopping by, and listening to what I had to say about the Vho app because I had signed up for it and I really didn't use it. Uh, you know, a couple months ago, but, um, anyways, I would, I would kind of stay away from it, and let me know, let the the rest of the people here on the channel, and, and, you know, in the comments, know what your experience is with Vho, was it good, bad, what was your first time out, you know, did you do a large block, a small block, what did you do, okay, so, anyways, thanks, folks, uh, for listening, I'm back at the warehouse, I'm gonna drop these packages off, and then, uh, I'm heading home. (laughs) So anyways, thanks for listening and I'll catch you guys and gals on the next one. Take care, folks.